for golf fans and golfers from across our area. The Honda Classic kicking off this week. Our Caleb Califano joins us live from PGA National this morning with one of the people who makes this whole event possible. <laughs> Caleb. Hey, good morning. Well, guys, let me tell you, it is an absolutely beautiful day here at PGA National, home of the Honda Classic. And joining me now is the executive director here, Andrew George. Sir, first, easiest question. Talk a little bit about this week and how are you feeling about it? Well, it's good to be tournament week, right? It's the kickoff, this weather. Um, what, what a better way to start this. Um, you know, there's so many hours to go into the prep and to, to have everyone come out. You know, the community really buys in. Um, we're excited to, to really unveil, you know, a, a greatest build we've ever had, um, a, a ton of different special events, and then, of course, the pros get out there on Thursday through Sunday. Uh, it's just a special week, and we're excited to have it here. And you've got a lot of big things happening here, returning champions from years past, including last year. You've got the bear trap. You've got the double decker there. Talk about what's new this year for the fans. Well, it's bigger and better. We want to continue to elevate every single year. There's 24 different public structures that, that fans can enjoy, and it's not just the golf scenes, it's not just the social fam uh, uh, side, it's the families, and it's the corporate setting. There's a really good mix of those public structures, and we want to make sure that everyone that comes out has a great time. Of course, the last putt drop at 6 o'clock, and then we've got fireworks and concerts at night. This is a community event through and through from the beginning of the day to the end. Talk about that 17th hole. Obviously, you were telling me you guys expanded that for the fan experience a lot bigger this time around. Yeah, it's over double the size, that second level of the bear trap right there in the 17th tee box. And, you know, for the pros, I think it's obviously a, a nerve wracking moment to go through 15, 16 and 17. But for the fans to have that kind of view right on the top of the players on that 17th hole, um, really special. And, and again, it just feels like the whole community is out there on Friday afternoon, Saturday and Sunday as they watch those guys finish. I was nervous. I got a tour of that 17th hole. It really is a sight to see. My final question for you, sir, obviously more than four decades of the Honda Classic. Next year, it's all going to change. Just talk about that relationship that's been uninterrupted for more than four decades and what your hopes are for the future. Yeah, Honda, we first need to say thank you. 42 years as title sponsor, the longest on the PJ Tour. You think of all of the different moments that we've had on the course. And then, of course, for charity, $61.7 million back into this community because of Honda, because of this tournament. Um, we want to make sure that we send them off right. You know, uh, the, the greatest event we've ever can have um, as our 42nd and final. And then as we look ahead, you know, build on this foundation and have our next 42 year partner come in in 2024 and just keep growing this. Well, sir, thank you so much. And obviously everything starts this week today with a pro-am and then the tournament starts officially on Thursday. We'll have full coverage here on WPBF 25 News. Back to you guys. Caleb, thank you so much. And we will have live coverage from PGA National all week long. Make sure to download our WPBF 25 News app for the latest highlights from the Honda Classic.